Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to reconcile uh, banking within NetSuite as well as upload your file from a bank uh, within NetSuite as well. You might make on a monthly or weekly basis. So first of all, when you first uh, log into NetSuite, you see your dashboard and you would go to your actual transactions. Now you could have this saved as a, um, 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 a shortcut if you want. But if you go to transactions, to banks, you can write checks, make deposit, transfer funds, um, use credit cards, reconcile your bank statement, reconcile your credit card statement. But first we're going to go ahead and import an online bank statement. So from here, um, it gives you instructions on what to do. It's basically looking for a Quicken file that you can download from your bank. It's an extension of QFX. So we'll go, go ahead and download that from your bank, put it on your desktop. Um, and just select it and we'll basically select which one we want it in. We want it in checking. We're going to hit submit. It's going to go through and it's going to basically find all the transactions that you have. It's also going to find if there's any matches. Now normally you'd have probably most of your transactions match, especially if you're keeping up with all your transactions with a NetSuite um, that are affecting your checking account obviously. Um, in this case, um, just as an example, I just have a few transactions that actually match. So from here, I can actually see on the left-hand side the ones that actually match. It tells me the match date. Um, it tells me the, the date of information and then all this data as well as the amount is coming from the file that I uploaded from my bank. Now a couple things here is I can actually, um, if I want to drill in on this particular transaction, I open it up in a different window. And I can see all the details uh, from that check, um, you know, what it was for, um, the account amount, and things like that. Now, when you uploaded your file, it was looking for an amount and a general date um, to match that file as well. So as, if we go back over here, we can see that amount as well. Now, notice here, if I have some charges that, I, that is not matching it, I can either go in and click where it says find a charge, and it will pull up all the transactions that I can match it with. Um, in this case, it's showing all the charges I have. I could come in here and say, hey, you know what, it's a few cents off or, or something's wrong with it. Or if, let's say, for some reason I didn't get the charge in there, so then I can just simply come in here and select the payee and make the charge directly from here. So let's say it's from Accelera. Um, maybe I have a number that was put on there. Um, that was the amount. We'll leave that and we'll go ahead and set that up for just say uh, maybe it was a, a prepaid expense or something like that. Hit add, hit save, and it takes me right back to my online bank and it went ahead and, and saved that new charge as a match within the system. The other things that you can do, and I'm actually going to go back to that one transaction I had in here, is that I can actually go to the actual GL registry itself. Um, I can see the GL impact, so I can see which accounts it hit checking, it hit the building account, etc. Um, I can go back to the actual transaction here and I can actually go to the uh, GL registry. Now within the GL registry we can actually see all the transactions and we can see mark the ones that have already rec reconciled and saved to my statement. Um, you can also click on here and go directly to the reconcile statement as well. So um, I also wanted to show you basically when once you get your online bank statement set up in the system, you can actually come in here and go to your uh, reconcile bank statement. It will take all that data that you've already uploaded in the system um, and sh basically show that it's been cleared with your bank. So for instance, check number 5088 was one of them. Um, check 5087 was one of them. Now in most cases you're going to have a whole bunch of yeses here because generally you're going to have everything match up just fine. But in this instance, since I don't have much data in my sample, I um, only have a couple. But here you can just select mark all cleared reconcilizations. So this can just take all the data that you have already uploaded in your bank and show that it's been cleared and go ahead and reconcile it. So I click there and it hit save and then you would have that reconciled. That's how easy it is.